President Donald Trump has been taking heat for not filling hundreds of appointed federal government jobs, but he recently revealed the true reason why he hasn't done so, a reason conservatives will love. In an interview with Fox News Fox and Friends that aired this week, Trump explained that his administration's seemingly lack of political appointees has been an effort to shrink the size of the federal government. When I see a story about Donald Trump didn't fill hundreds and hundreds of jobs, it's because, in many cases, we don't want to fill those jobs, he said. When pressed on the fact that he has 600 empty positions, Trump doubled down on his reasoning behind the situation. A lot of those jobs, I don't want to appoint, because they're unnecessary to have, the president explained. You know, we have so many people in government, even me. I look at some of the jobs and it's people over people over people. I say, what do all these people do? You don't need all those jobs. He's right. In fact, there are more than 4,000 roles for political appointees throughout government, according to the Center for Presidential Transition. Many of those jobs I don't want to fill, Trump said. I say, isn't that a good thing? That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. We're running a very good, efficient government. Some positions in the federal government have been needed to ensure that things run smoothly, but the problem is that, even with thousands of people, things haven't been running smoothly. See, Social Security, the Department of Veteran Affairs and the State Department, just to name a few. Democrats might not be able to grasp the concept of leaving a government job unfilled, even if it's not necessary. But a businessman has no problem with the idea at all. Like and share this article on Facebook and Twitter if you agree with President Trump that the size of the federal government needs to be decreased. What do you think about Trump not filling several federal government positions? Scroll down to comment below. Conservative Tribune helped contribute to this story. Its news exposed signing off.